Well, good morning on this Easter Saturday, and uh, welcome back to my office. This uh, greeting today follows on the one from yesterday, so if you didn't get to see it, I hope you can just look back and, and listen to that just briefly. Uh, I'm introducing a, a learning project, uh, a, a, what we call a mystagogy, for the Easter season. And what I'd like to do is just to talk today about a, a basic plan for that, subject to change as we figure out how things go. Uh, but um, the, uh, the plan would be to focus on the Gospels, the Sunday Gospels for the Easter season. And, and it's been my conviction that, that these Gospels actually unfold life with the risen Lord. And as the weeks go by, they add detail and nuance to what our experience of him is until we in fact reach Pentecost and the picture becomes complete. So the series of Gospels will be somewhat familiar to you. The second Sunday of Easter is always uh, Doubting Thomas. The third Sunday of Easter is either Emmaus or Breakfast by the Sea of Tiberias. It's a Eucharistic Gospel. The fourth Sunday is uh, the Good Shepherd. And then the fifth and sixth Sundays get more complex. But we start off with a very clear plan. And what I'd like to do is each Sunday read the Gospel with you. We have a beautiful book of the Gospels in the church. So we'll stand there and uh, give a, give an, uh, after the reading of the Gospel, I'd give an over, overview of the significance of this gospel in the Christian life. And then on the succeeding weekdays, just give a short greeting like this with an insight from the gospel. So we would, har we would read the gospel in full on Sunday, and then we would harvest it, if you will, through the whole next week, or at least Monday to Friday. We may take a break on Saturday. Um, and so we'd go like that the, from the second Sunday of Easter uh, until at least Ascension and probably all the way to Pentecost. Um, assuming that our, our streaming resources are, are available. And my collaborator in this will be Brother Hyacinth Grubb, and, uh, who's streaming this, uh, who's uh, recording this, uh, this session. And um, we'll try to also bring in art that supports the endeavor. And my hope is that, that during these, this unusual spring of 2020, you and I can come away together with a deeper perception of what it means to not only be a disciple of Christ, but to walk with him even now in his risen life and to make that life visible and palpable. Uh, in the world as it now is. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow.